me a pencil. Crayon, quickly. Oh, it's you. Yes, it's me, Duncan Kleist. Kleist, the great poet. Kleist, the greatest. Where's your marking pencil? In my pocket. Give it to me. Well, tell a poem. You're a poet, tell a poem. Dabba 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 you mean brackish little merchant. Dabba dabba, there's a poem for you. Give me this. Now, I need some stamps. Do you have any? I have a poem for you. Only the dead are honestly arrayed. The touch of a corpse, all the earth is equal. A marble silk mausoleum, a warm rotted box, our idiot empty, the same. Duncan, Duncan, give me back those manuscripts. I paid you for them, Duncan. They belong to me. Among other wet, sweet irrelevancies are tears and flowers. You took what isn't yours. You got no right to do that. Give me back my manuscripts. We consume our lives in hot, sick flames of the fear of nothing. You're gonna get it. You got me mad. You're gonna get it. I always wanted to kill you! To obtain rights, meanings, and missions. To murder each other in the name of our just murdered children. Give me that envelope! Life is the wild eye, truth its fever, death its beauty, dirty swine! <laughs> Honestly, Arrain. Duncan Kleist was not a great poet. He was a poet, an all-out, unadulterated, outrageous Greenwich Village poet. Now he is dead, and it will be discovered who killed him. But that's not important. Duncan Kleist chose to live as an apostle of absolute purity. He became in actuality the corrupted angel of his own conscience. Only one way remained for him to keep faith with himself. He chose to die.
dead for less than an hour. Severe contusions on his head and face, apparently caused by some sharp, heavy object. Stamp cards all over the place. Stamp machine broken open. Now, what do you make of that? Well, somebody wanted some stamps. Incredible, my dear Watson. <laughs> I mean, somebody without any money and in a hurry. That fits everyone I know. <laughs> Listen, Frank, we better get what prints we can off those stamp covers. Reconsider giving my points. It wouldn't be right. Don't force me to make a shambles here. Yeah. So far, it's been a dull night to make a shambles. Stanley, I'm truly desperate. I know. Good evening, Mr. Kleinst. Do we improvise tonight? Those of us who can do. Those of us who can don't. Open your secret door. I am here with all your flowers. What do you say? I don't know. I said... Open your secret door. I am here with all your flowers. I have kept them fragrant for you all these years. Really? Come on now. Walk out with me into the dark, aching dream where the shadows are silver and the sky is securely ours. Are you listening to all this, Sheldon? Uh, yes, Beverly. I'm listening. Be kind to the clumsy hand, the rasp of too anxious desire. Escape all embarrassment. I think it's time to go. Emerge the velvet wondering to imagined loveliness. You better stop this. It's too much. Uh, uh, look, we'd, we'd like to be excused now. I am the wanting disbelief, the waiting eyes, the still unlit moment when the moment ends. I begin with that knowledge. I know where the flowers are. Slob Snob, 57th Street, sweet wrist boy. Dear devil mine, me. Play ball, switch hitter, love unlisted phone. Me. Born John. Name changed to fit. Me. Terrible Wednesday. She fell down laughing. Snob slob. Me. Laughing. Both. At slob snob. in the studios, if I am to be in the quiet halls and clubs, quiet at tea, if I am to talk calmly at dinner when evening falls, if I am to breathe when it is night and millions are awake, moving like a sea, not human, not known. When they have no voices, but they have mouths and eyes. When they have no meaning to me, to themselves, to the earth. But 
they are alive. If I am to live, if I am to breathe, I must walk with them a while, laugh with them, stare and point, pick one and follow him to the rotted wharves, write my name under his in gray latrine, John Standish, artist. I must follow him, screaming as he does, through the docks, basements, tenements, wharves. Follow him till he sleeps and kill him with a stone. Written in 1936 by Kenneth Fearing. Oh. A splendid oh. improvisation. Oh. Your secret door, I'm here with all your flowers. <laughs> Written in 1897 by Walter Ivy Brom. <laughs> 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 Whoa there, poet, whoa there now. Now, if you even wrote them, he has my 